Hello, I'm Natalie Mears. I'm a senior lecturer in early modern British history here at the University of Durham and I work particularly on Elizabethan politics and religion. And I'm going to talk today about the 1590s. First of all, I guess we should think about why focus on the 1590s? What's special about this period? Well, traditionally it's actually been a period which has had the least amount of attention. My supervisor, the person who taught me, John Guy, um, memorably said once that the problem was that Elizabeth's reign was so long that we all managed to just get to the Armada and then we'd collapse in a heap of exhaustion and no one had any uh, energy left to look at the 1590s. And one of the things that he did a few years ago when he was teaching me was actually to try and right that wrong and really put um, attention on the 1590s. And in fact, he was so successful that I feel at the moment that I'm the only Elizabethan historian who is not currently working on the 1590s. So how did John get everybody working on this period um, and what's special about it? Well, the argument he made was that Elizabeth's reign can be divided into two periods. And the break comes around 1585 to 1587 when England intervenes in the Netherlands, um, then as a result um, uh, is at war with Spain, and also when Mary Queen of Scots is executed. And he argued this was a big turning point because on either side of this period, um, you had a very kind of coherent set of political issues, um, a set kind of political agenda, and also the ideas that influence the, the way that people thought and the way people acted um, were very coherent. So, what were these two periods like? The first period, so up to 1585-87, um, was dominated by a number of issues on the political agenda. They were Elizabeth's marriage, the succession, um, until she got married, um, the threat posed by Mary, Queen of Scots, the threat posed by Catholic conspiracy, and to a much lesser extent, um, the nature of the Elizabethan church and the Puritans' campaign for reform. 